Hi, welcome to Magpie Moon Child. My name is Kaylee, and this is a quick uh, deck exploration um, and review, initial review of the Lunar Edition of Ethereal Visions Tarot. I don't actually have the Ethereal Visions Tarot, believe it or not. Um, <clears throat> it's been on my list for a little while. Um, so when the Lunar Edition came up, which is much more in my colour palette and aesthetic, um, that's when I decided to... Um, to have a look at this deck. I really do love Art Deco um, artwork. Um, the Renaissance tarot is a little bit different, but there's kind of Art Deco elements to it. Um, I've seen Art Deco on um, Tarot of Unknown Shadows, I think it was. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at this one. So I do love the artwork of the Ethereal Visions, but I think because it's a mass market, I can kind of get it at any time. But this is actually the indie version uh, the indie uh, lunar ethereal visions i backed the kickstarter so the uh sticker that we get as part of it i think it's a sticker yeah it's a sticker uh is the moon card from this wonderful deck so that's going straight into my tarot teachers course because i'm running a tarot uh course in january so that's going to go straight in there uh but i love the foil on this and that there's a texture to the foil as well it's not just shiny it's got this graininess to it as well and I really like that with this gorgeous Diana Huntress um it's probably Artemis isn't it as the moon okay so let's open this box up so it comes obviously plastic wrap it's literally just arrived this morning uh let's have a look so it's a two-part box and we have this gorgeous holographic background on that moon card. Obviously, it's going to be the moon card because it's lunar. Lunar means moon. Um, and it has, I think there's Artemis on there. It has the moon phases on the side. It has uh, lunar visions, again, holographic on the top. The side has the moon phases again. And then the bottom has the ethereal visions edition. Uh, on the back, it has uh, the website. So Ethereal Visions Publishing, um, and then obviously the website. This deck was brought to life on the 11th of March 2021 by the amazing support of Kickstarter backers, and it is an exclusive edition of 1,500 of these. So uh, it's by Matt Hughes. So let's take the two-part box apart. It's nice and tight, but that's it's secure in there. So if I just pop that to the, the lid to the side a little bit, and then we will have a look. In this gorgeous December grey day light with my spotlight over that way direction by the computer. So yeah, we have, oh my goodness, um, so we have this gorgeous holographic edging on the deck. Uh, the back has this gorgeous matte silver uh, printed, is that printed? Yeah, I think so, printed silver moon design reversible design as well which is important because some decks don't have that the booklet i will get to in a moment i'm just going to go through the cards first of all and then we will go through the booklet after so we have the full and again they have the edges have these gorgeous holographic foiling on the edges of the actual images so there we have the fool we have the magician Oh my goodness, that's so holographic rainbow. High Priestess. This is the image that is on the Ethereal Visions uh, deck in the mass market. Uh, the Empress. Holographic, she's beautiful. The Emperor, wow. That crown as well. So the, it's not all of this, it's the crown and the edging down the bottom. Uh, the Hierophant, so the star also is holographic. So not always the frame is holographic. Parts of it have been done, and I like that it's different on each one. Uh, the Lovers. Gorgeous. The Chariot. Wow. I don't know why I've never used this deck before. Strength. I'm falling in love with these images. I didn't think this was going to happen like this. Uh, the Hermit. The Hermit, if you're not from the UK and you pronounce your T's. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune. And I love that the tarot imagery is being held there, but it's also holographic. Justice. The Hanged Man. 
beautiful. Death. Temperance. The Devil. The Tower. Oh, the mask. The seer. Oh, the star, sorry. Why do I see that as the seer? Maybe she looks like a seer. The star. The moon. So that gorgeous Luna. The sun. Judgment. And the world. And we have fate. Um, and a, a gape, a gap, a guy, a gape, a gap, a a gape. I'm sure, there's a meaning for that. I'll have a look in the book. And then we have the King of Cups, looking like Kurt Russell as Santa in the Chronicles, Christmas Chronicles. I like it though. I'm not mad at that Santa. Uh, Queen of Cups. The Knight of Cups. The Page. Sorry, it's the tail end of a chest infection. The Ace of Cups. The Two of Cups. The Three. The Four. The Five. I like that the borders are all different too. The Six. The Seven. Again with that mask, the eight, the nine of cups, and the ten of cups, beautiful. The king of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, the knight of pentacles, the page, the ace of pentacles, the two dancing on a lemon skate uh three of pentacles the four the five six seven of pentacles the eight of pentacles the nine of pentacles, the ten, the king of swords, wow, wisdom, the queen of swords, the knight of swords, and the page, the ace of swords, the two of swords, the Three of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Five, the Six, Seven, the Eight, Nine of Swords, and the Ten of Swords, such a painful image. And then we have the King of Wands, the Queen, the Knight of Wands, and the Page. And then we have the Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Three, the four, the five, the six, seven, eight, the nine of ones and the ten of ones. That's the last card. They're quite thin. I think they're plasticky but they bend 
and they pretty much stay a little bit bent but let's see how they go with the riffle shuffle they're still quite heavy even though they're thin cards so i would suspect that they maybe have plastic as part of the card stock um they riffle quite nicely together actually i have a friend who cries every time i do this on one of my lives with the riffling of the cards but it's the fun way to get the energy into them and one day I'll get really good at them and be able to flick them back the other way oh nearly so <laughs> that's them as a riffle shuffle as you can see they have bent ever so slightly but with a little bit of a pull back the other way they are fine um, hand over shuffling they are not sticking they are not clumping they are just moving wash wise they kind of move quite smoothly against each other it's not slick like a deck of playing cards but you can move them over each other um, but they're not overly sticky they're not clumping um, I can pull one card off separately quite easily so to me they're not clumping um, they are I want to say traditional tarot size but I want to say they're a little bit wider actually but they're probably wrong let's get a Rider Waite Smith Nope, they are slightly larger and slightly wider than a traditional tarot card. So they are slightly larger. Same proportion, same ratios, but um, yeah, slightly larger. And that's not a bad thing. Um, I mean, obviously, yeah, it's not a problem for me because I have quite large hands. But um, yeah, if you have small hands, it might be. <clears throat> Although it's not that much bigger. If you can handle that deck, the other deck or an oracle deck, you'll be fine. Uh, so let's have a look at the booklet. So we have Ethereal Visions Lunar Edition. Uh, dedicated to my loving wife, Hope, without whom this would not have been possible. Your laughter makes each day worth living. That's beautiful. And then obviously the details. Kickstarter. Uh, and then we have the introduction. Had to tarot as a portal, cleansing your deck, getting to know your deck, shuffle your deck, spreads you can use, um, random notes and thoughts, the major arcana, and then it goes into this black and white image of the major arcana cards, starting with the full, um, has the astrological correspondence, a description, and then keywords of the reversed and upright meanings, and that's the same through all of those major arcana. There is a description of fate there, so the void of space being its astrological correspondence, um, and then obviously um, the aspects, the keywords there, and then we have a gape astrological uh, correspondence asteroid belt. Um, so yeah, it's again got the keywords of unconditional love. Oh, I like that. Um, so there's a description, the keywords, and the reverse meaning there. And then the minor arcana, you have the suit of cups and it has all the um, correspondences there. And then it just has, it doesn't have an image of the card, but it does have a description, the keywords and the name of the card for each of them. Um, and that is through the whole way through. So it, it does the courts first and then goes ace to ten for each of the suits. And then we have at the end of the wands, we have the lunar spread. So a tarot spread there for you to try. And then, oh my God, I love it when they do this. A notes section at the back of the book. A fine, oh, at the end of that read, that spread. So you can make notes on the spread. That's amazing. Uh, the finding balance spread. And again, notes at the end of that. Create your own spread. So there's space for you to do that with your note forms there as well. Um, so there you go. That is the, I'm going to pop the sticker in there as well for a minute. Um, the Ethereal Visions Lunar Edition with all this gorgeous silver holographic uh, foil, matte holographic as well. Um, but yes, absolutely stunning deck. It's actually surprised me. Um, I'm going to go and have a little play with this now. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, as always, questions down below. I will try and get back to them at some point. Um, but thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. And I will hopefully see you again soon. Bye for now.